There are cards that make me nervous when we play test with them and make me go, Ugh, maybe not a great idea. When we feel excited about something, then we just do it. So easy, guys. <laughs> I think the hardest thing to get right on a new card is it needs to be different enough from the other existing cards in the game while still being familiar and understandable to players. A lot of times artists are the ones driving the new card designs because it's all about getting the consensus of a team and getting everyone on board with the idea and really cool art can do that. It's always fun to create a new character uh, for Clash Royale. The challenging thing is we have many characters and we have to make sure that they feel part of the same group and same universe. The characters must feel playful and serious. So for example, the Royal Ghosts are sleepers, but those sleepers used to be baby dragon sleepers. That was really fun, but that was a bit too much detail for a small part of the character. We decided to simplify it and just have blue and red sleepers, just for the sake of uh, simplicity. So the process is that they, they make a character, they show me the character art and if there is some animation, and then they show me kind of maybe their inspiration for the character. They might even have like a type of voice they like. Oh, Greta! It's like so iconic. We had to get that sound in the game. I really would love to elaborate in some crazy long drawn out story how I sit and whistle in a flute that gives me inspiration. But no, I sit in front of a computer with a keyboard and some black and white keys and just try not to cry. <laughs> yeah, now you have it on tape, yeah, yeah. As you might have noticed, cars in Clash Royale are very simply named, like Musketeer, Bandit, Barbarian, what you see is what you get kind of thing. If you can see the art and tell right away what they do, it becomes much easier for everyone to imagine that card in the game, and then everyone takes the necessary steps to get it in. I think Goblin Cage was one of those cards, actually. Everyone knew the character from clash Arama. It's on the very first episode. Og Rider coming to turn Hall, announcing to the Barbarian that his Og just got stolen. They align five very identical goblins. Definitely number four. So they take him away and put him in jail. And then we find this character doing like some push-up and some exercise in the jail, and it's really like tough. And we just like the idea of that character. Yeah, so turns out my hog wasn't Stolen. No hard feelings. And immediately everyone fell in love with this. The team actually tried to implement him under the name Goblin Thug however long ago. But it was one of the card ideas that died in playtesting. This character is in a cage. What kind of big unit would make sense to be in a cage? And it just sort of had that aha moment of, oh, the prison goblin. And so having that be the building, and then when that is destroyed, he goes on sort of a prison break rampage. So he basically just put those two together and started playing with it, and it felt great right off the bat. So yeah, when we came to name Goblin Cage, it was uh, called Prison Goblin for the longest time. Calling him Prison Goblin, that was emphasizing the fact that he's not here because he wanted to be. Everyone that's in Royale and in the arena wants to be there. So we can't have Prison Goblin, so we need to follow the format of all of the other stuff, like Goblin Hut, Barbarian Hut, and we have to call it Goblin something. So yeah, and then we called it uh, Goblin Cage, and then we were like, okay, cool, now we can name the like dude inside. He bursts out of his cage and he wants to fight. You know, he's like a bit of a brawler. And then we're like, okay, goblin brawler, that works. You could put down the goblin cage, wait a little bit, and then when he breaks out of the cage, use that 10 elixir to create one or more attacks where the goblin brawler is a part of it. And that felt very fresh and different and gave us a good reason to move forward on that design compared to any of the other ideas we had at the time. It's full method. I live every character every day, all the time. Obviously, I painted myself completely green developed a strong affinity for gold. That led me conveniently to prison, where I then learned a few very, very hard lessons. So I'll be, I'll be basically going from this and then sitting desperately screaming in a microphone for two hours. Maybe like scream number 795 is, is the one. Even if a card is good, it may not be intuitive enough for people to care about. The challenges are always different. That's how it is, and that's how it should be. We're just trying to make the best game we can. That's the character that we can see now. It just works. 